Good morning, friends. It's Miss Joan, and this is story time again at the Haverhill Public Library. Are you guys ready to do our story time song? Okay, let's go. Hands go up and hands go down. I can turn myself around. I can stand up on one shoe. I can listen, so can you. I can sit, I'll show you how. Story time is starting now. All right, my first book is called Big Shark, Little Shark, Baby Shark. And it is by Anna Membrino. Big shark, little shark. Big shark, little shark, they're friends and they are at the shark park. Ooh. They play games, they have fun. Oh no. Here comes Baby Shark. Big Shark and Little Shark do not want to play with Baby Shark. That doesn't seem very nice of them. Baby Shark is too little. Baby Shark is too slow. And it is not fun to play with Baby Shark. Big Shark and Little Shark swim away and baby shark is sad baby shark swims to mommy shark and daddy shark they are mad at big shark and little shark most mommies and daddies are mad when somebody is mean to you mommy shark tells grandpa shark what big shark and little shark did Grandpa Shark tells Grandma Shark what Big Shark and Little Shark did. Now, the family of sharks is mad. What will they do? All five sharks take a deep breath and they will play their own game. That's such a great idea. Oh, look, they're playing baseball. Now Big Shark and Little Shark want to play. They say sorry to Baby Shark for not being kind. And Baby Shark asks them to play too. And they all play shark baseball together. Oh, I'm so glad that they were nice to Baby Shark in the end, and he was very nice to let them all play. Does this book remind you of any songs you know? I know a song. Would you like to hear it? Do 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 
Safe at last, do 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 do. Safe at last, do 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 do. Safe at last. You. It's the end of do 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 do. It's the end of do 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 do. It's the end of do 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 do. It's the end. Wow, that was a great song. Did you guys like that song? <laughs> I saw something funny back there. What was behind me, guys? Where did that shark come from? <sighs> a shark in the library. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Well, why don't I read another book, okay? Shark Dog, and it is by Jed... Adamson. My dad is no ordinary dad. He is a famous explorer who travels the world and sometimes I get to go along. One trip we were busy exploring. We found butterflies and plants and tortoises as big as cars. Tortoises are like turtles. And colorful birds and huge trees. And yet, on that trip, I had a strange feeling I was being followed. As we sailed home, I thought I heard a loud noise. Thump. But I was too tired to investigate. Later that night, something woke me from a deep, peaceful sleep. Something slobbery. I turned on the light and saw the strangest creature. Half dog, half shark. He seemed friendly enough, so Dad said I could keep him. Back on land, Shark Dog made himself right at home and began to do his own exploring. Shark Dog, Shark Dog was no ordinary pet. Sometimes when he did dog things, he was more like a shark. And sometimes when he did shark things, he was more like a dog. He's bringing him his slippers underwater. That's silly. Either way, Shark Dog was a fun friend to have around, on land and underwater. We did everything together. Sweet dreams, Shark Dog. What Shark Dog loved most was a trip to the beach. It was important to keep an eye on him at all times because when people spot a little fin sticking up, they get a little bit worried. Shark! Mm, but it was really a shark. Being near the water always made Shark Dog super excited. And one time he was more excited than I'd ever seen him he spotted another shark dog. He couldn't contain his joy. But it wasn't another shark dog. And for the first time, my shark dog was sad. Oh, you think he's a little lonely for shark dogs like him? He was still sad that evening and the next day and the day after that. Oh no, I said to my dad, I bet Shark Dog is thinking about his home. Maybe it's time we took him back, said Dad. So we did. Shark Dog got the most wonderful welcome. My dad even took his friends out for a ride. It was a happy day. And that night, the shark dogs sang us a beautiful song in the moonlight.
The next morning it was hard to say goodbye, but I told Shark Dog it was time for me to go. But suddenly, Shark Dog began to follow our boat, and with one enormous leap, he was back on board. I think Shark Dog made up his mind, said Dad, and it looks like you're his home now. And that was just fine with me. The end. Oh, that's so cute. I like that Shark Dog. He seems very friendly. Well, I had a little shark craft, if you guys want to do it. And all you need is a paper plate. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold the paper plate in half. And then we're going to cut. We're going to make sort of triangly shaped cuts out of the bottom like this. And we're going to cut the other way. Okay, all the way along so it comes out like this. So now these are going to be what? What part of them? Those are going to be his teeth, right? So when you get all done, It'll look like this, and you're going to decorate it, okay? So you're going to open it up a little bit, and you're going to bend the teeth in. And then you're going to color it. So I did one. I colored the outside of it gray, and then I colored the inside of it with a big red tongue and sort of black like his mouth. And then you can either put a piece of yarn across the back or you can just put it in your mouth. And you can be a shark too. <laughs> That's all I've got for today, friends. I hope you had fun and I'll see you next time. High fives. Bye.